Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What is shaking? What's going on for you guys? How is the bull tribe out there? Everything steady and stable, Taurus? Is it all the way that you want it to be? Huh? Feeling secure about things, Taurus? Huh? Huh? We have a big, big, huge, gigantic full moon in Pisces, Pisces today. today. And, and I, I want, want to do a full moon reading for Taurus. I uh, just, just do. do. I am a Taurus sun, sun, but I am Pisces, Pisces moon, Pisces, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. Venus. So, so let's, let's see what, what this big full moon has to say for Taurus. Taurus. Give me a chance to channel. We'll lay out the message. I'll confuse the heck out of you for a second. We'll sew together a story. Ready? Let's, Let's do it. it. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. And Spirit, Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves? their lives and their futures. Spirit, what is coming towards the Turanians? What do they need to know? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Oh, right there. I was going to say, please tell me where the stopping point is. I'll cut three times and pull from the top. But that's it right there. So let's go. One... Two, three. One, two, and huh, maybe three. All right, bottom of the deck. Wow, very nice. The sun, fantastic. The sun and the ace of wands and the universe. Fantastic. This will make hella sense to us in just a minute. All right, first, these cards are all supposed to be read in the upright, okay? So, truth. Truth, 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 truth with 20. This is judgment, decisions. Ooh, the lovers, harmony. In the upright, in the upright. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this. A few things y'all need to know about me before we get started here is that I am told I have a propensity to be inappropriate. If swearing or anything like that bothers you, now is your time to go before you get stuck in a bad neighborhood after dark. Okay, Taurus? All right, let's do this. Let's get into this whole thing here. So truth, first card out, it sets the tone for everything. What is this truth? What is this judgment right here? Spirit for Taurus, the Ten of Cups. Wishes fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled. Emotional wishes fulfilled. Okay. So making, coming to some kind of decision about that or speaking some kind of truth to the moon. Okay. Right on. Okay. So that's why the truth is there, right? Because you have to come to the truth in the moon about the Ten of Cups, about what makes you happy. Interesting. Tell me about harmony with the lovers to the Two of Wands into the future. Into the future. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, fertility with the Empress. Oh, look at this. I cannot make this up, Taurus. Look to the sun and the lovers. Wow. All right. Okay. Fertility. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on right here, okay? This is what's going on. So all these major arcana, I mean, you have so many major arcana. You have one, two, three. Three root cards only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine major arcanas out of four, twelve, sixteen out of twenty cards. Wow, half of these cards are major arcana. And that doesn't even include the clarifying cards. So there's a big, huge message here. Huge, huge, huge message about your future well being. All right? They start out with truth. Truth, uh, they need you to make a real good decision in a, in a situation. 
they truly do because the ten of cups your 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 peace the peace of your life your happiness your emotional fulfillment is on the line and they need you to make a very good decision the moon because someone out there is struggling someone is struggling and the moon interestingly enough to the full moon tonight and perhaps this is the whole culmination thing of this full moon cycle for you okay so the moon struggling between that which you know to be true in your guts and that which you really don't want to accept as the truth so you want something else to be the truth but the truth is the truth hence truth the first card we started with okay so good decisions because your well-being is on the line and then they come on top of that with the empress no less okay they need you to level up. They need you to be in your power. The Empress is the card of Taurus. Yes, Libra too, but we're talking Taurus, okay? They need you to stand in your power. They need you to be careful what you think about and follow where your intuition is leading you because there is a huge, gigantic change in your life right around the corner, but there is also an opportunity to screw that up. Okay? All right. Harmony. The lovers. What is right around the corner for you? Well, harmony in some kind of devoted union. To the two of wands it's in your future it's right in your future you got to be careful what path you choose though because you only have two choices you're either going to step into your future or you're going to step back into the past the sun happiness success vitality trying to show you major arcana trying to show you that the path to your happiness success and vitality to the lovers again is right around the corner there is a huge, gigantic love opportunity right around the corner for you. The Empress to the Emperor, the Empress to the Emperor, it's all right around the corner. Again, to the Empress. This card is called Fertility. You know why? Because the Empress is the seedbed of all creation in her life. Why is she the seedbed of all creation in her life? Well, because she's made from the threads of Lesson 1 and 2. Lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not. And they need you to focus your mind and your intuition to manifesting this opportunity over here. Why? Nine of Swords. Um, anxiety. The Knight of Pentacles. S routine. Same old, same old. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of opportunity to the Six of Pentacles in reverse, um, greed in the sense of well-being to the King of Swords, good decisions. So what's the problem? Well, 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 well. I hate to be a buzzkill here, but there's an opportunity coming to you down in the next row, okay? So they need you to stand in your power to stand in your power and control the anxiety in your mind. Um, this anxiety in your mind, you have probably been here for, in a, for a good second. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse, um, not a good place to create an opportunity, lost opportunity, unavailable opportunity. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Debt, greed, and materialism is this card. And it is the Pentacles, so it's your sense of security, your sense of well-being. And then the King of Swords comes on top of this and says, you need to make some, again, like truth, some really good decisions in your very near future. You really do. The Eight of Wands, accelerated motion forward. Why? The Four of Wands, because they're trying to lead you to what it is that you want in your life. They are. They're trying to lead you in that direction. Go towards this. Why? Because the Emperor, to the Empress, to the Empress, is what it is, Eight of Wands, that they're trying to take you to. 
Three of Wands, have some foresight for the future. We're trying to lead you on the path of your best and highest good, but what's the problem? Well, temptation with the devil. Why is there temptation? Well, the magician, manifestation, I'll explain, okay? Temptation, manifestation. The Nine of Swords, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse to the Page of Swords, but it came out wanky, okay? the Queen of Wands in reverse, I'll explain, hold on, to the Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. All right, so there is an opportunity that is coming to you that is, how shall I explain this? Mercury, Mercury retrograde, right? So Mercury retrograde, um, people come out of the woodwork from our past. Okay. Also with Venus in retrograde, um, that is, uh, leads to uh, insecurities and insecure feelings. The magician wants you to be aware of what it is you're manifesting in your life. They want you to be aware, page of swords, of some kind of communication that's coming to you. But the page of swords in reverse, remember it came out kind of like that. Page of swords in reverse says possibly someone you haven't spoken to in a long time. And also this communication from this source is all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Hence the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And it is a setback and a waste of your time. Possibly a financial setback, but definitely a waste of your time. Okay, back to the devil. It is uh, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What is that? The Queen of Wands in reverse. This is egocentric and self-centered. What's egocentric and self-centered? Well, it could be the thing that is going to bring you this message, but for you being Major Arcana speaking to you, clarified by the Queen of Wands in reverse, this is about succumbing to the easy fix of your flesh. Okay, some kind of message is coming towards you and your the, the human aspect of you is going to want to entertain it. But if you entertain it, it's going to interfere with what the universe is trying to manifest in your life. Four of Swords, contemplate and come to terms with any kind of grief that may be, may be rooted in your mind about what your life would be like with or without this situation, Knight of Wands, and take the appropriate action for your best and highest good, because this is a waste of your time. Focus and manifest on this beautiful love relationship that's coming into your life. To the eight of Pentacles positive movement forward. The Eight of Pentacles comes from working, engaging, and building on the lessons of your life. Okay? So you, I guess kind of what it boils down to is, are you going to repeat something from the past, or are you going to push forward? even a behavior pattern from the past, right? You don't want to repeat a behavior pattern from the past. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to repeat something with someone from your past. Could be, but it could also be a go-to behavior pattern that you have that needs to be addressed so the universe can usher in this beautiful, beautiful future that's sitting here in front of me. To the Ace of Wands, there's a new opportunity right around the corner for you, and it's not this. There's a new opportunity that can't be engaged in if you have some kind of behavior pattern in your life that is going to prevent you from doing it. The devil in reverse. Release these limiting beliefs. Detach yourself from the toxicity, Ten of Wands, of the burden and the struggle that you carry of who? The Queen of Wands in reverse of your human thinking that you want what you want what you want and you know the best path for your life. The universe is saying, no, Taurus. We know the best path of your life and we're trying to bring to you the desires of your heart so you can be of better use to the universe. But we can't do it without your cooperation. And there is going to be some kind of stumbling block that you should use as a stepping stone um, 
to your future. Be careful what you manifest. Be careful what you think about because it comes about. Stand in the Empress Spidey energy and, and choose wisely for your life. Choose wisely for your life. Why? Prince, uh, partnerships and alliances with the Three of Wands. There is, again, some kind of offer coming to you. The Seven of Cups in reverse. But it's illusion. Um, this is a card about, about uh, emotional diversionary tactics. It's going to keep you off balance. Like I said, stumbling blocks that you should use as a stepping stone instead. To the Four of Swords, rest and rejuvenate. Come to terms with any kind of grief or sorrow or pain that you may have hidden in your mind. The High Priestess in reverse because it's going to, it is um, screwing with your intuition. Mm -hmm. You're not feeling yourself. You're not seeing something clearly because, like I said, there is an offer coming to you that is not in your best and highest good. Maybe from someone in your past, possibly a new offer that would um, 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 allow you to utilize some kind of behavior pattern that isn't appropriate for your future. Because you have the emperor, the empress, the lovers twice, the sun. You have everything that you need to get what it is that you want. The universe is trying to bring it to you. But you're, you're, you're hooked on some kind of stupid that's going to keep you from it. The high priestess. Your intuition. Follow it. Listen to it. It's speaking to you. Follow it. That's why the moon is up here, right? The struggle between that which we know to be true in your intuition and that which you don't want to be true. What don't you want to be true? Well, that this person that's bringing this message to you is not in your best and highest good. That's what you don't want to accept is the truth. And that's the big warning here of going back into some kind of a behavior pattern. Follow your intuition. Follow your guts firm foundation. It will lead you to where you need to be. The four of pentacles, pull yourself together. Your intuition is leading you where you need to be. The seven of cups, so you better choose wisely. You better choose wisely. What are your choices? Triumph, rolling forward in the chariot. Taking a step back, reevaluating your own motivations for ignoring your intuition and pushing forward in the direction of your best and highest good or screwing it all up with the Seven of Swords. Screwing it all up, Six of Cups, with memories of love from the past. Mm -hmm. To balance with Trump 11. This is the justice card. It's justice. It's fairness. Truth. It's law. Universal law. Cause and effect. What's the cause and effect? You being accountable for your journey brings truth and justice into your life. This is in your best interest. It's in your favor. To the six of wands. And it will bring you to the stepping stone of victory and success in your life. The sun again on the bottom of the deck. We're trying to show you the path to happiness, success, and vitality. We're trying to lead you there. We need you to see very, very clearly that you will either stumble or you will use it for a step. It's totally up to you. Free will. But please, for the love of the universe... Stop doing some kind of something that keeps you in a bad cycle because there is a new cycle. There is new opportunity, new passion, new inspiration right around the corner to the universe. You have learned everything that you need to learn in this particular lesson of your life. It is time to close it down and step into lesson number one, which is the magician, and lesson number two, which is your intuition, and lesson number three, which is the empress, and lesson number four, oh my gosh, look at this, you guys, this is so freaking cool, and lesson number four, which is the emperor, and lesson five, the hierophant's not here, but lesson six, the lover's is. The lovers is. Where's the lovers? 
We'll use this one. And the lovers, okay? This is all here for you. This is all here for you. Seven. Look at this in order like this. Holy schmoly. We're going to do a quick spread. We're going to do something weird, Taurus. So hold on a second. Hold on a second. So we have, let's see, the one the magician to the high priestess we do not have um the hierophant but we have the empress where is she where is she here she is we have the empress that's three we have four we don't have five we have six we have seven we have Nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one, and then we have eleven and fifteen. Okay. Okay. So look, so the world was on the bottom of the deck, right? The world transformation. This is the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. Okay, the beginning of a new cycle. What is leading up to this world? Well, judgment. Okay, you have to make some conscious, cognitive, hard decisions. The sun. These are the lessons that, that you're going through to get to the universe. Okay, you have to make some hard, hard, truthful decisions about yourself, your life, and your future. Yourself. Be honest and true and fair with yourself. To the sun. Um, see very, very clearly what? Temptation. Okay? See very, very clearly that we, they are trying to get you to move on to the next phase of your life. But you have to overcome this first. Stop succumbing to it and overcome it. What do you have to overcome? Well, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Something that you are holding on to, which is some kind of behavior pattern that needs your attention to balance. Balance. This is justice, right? What's in your best good? What's in your best interest? The chariot. To... Reflect and assess on your own motivations and make some changes in your life. Why? So you can share in a reciprocal, healthy, divinely orchestrated relationship into your life. The emperor, the lovers, the emperor, the empress. Okay, so the emperor is lesson four. What does lesson four teach you? It teaches you how to create in your physical world what lesson three, the empress has created in her internal world. Two, lesson two, following her intuition and lesson one, pointing her mind towards it. Pointing her mind towards it. So in the reverse, right? Be careful what you think about. Follow your intuition you will be infallible. It will lead you to where you need to be. Execute it on the outside of your life and you will attract someone who likes that whole same vibe there to the lovers and be in a harmonious relationship. Do what it is that you got to do to change the little things that you need to change about yourself because this is in your best interest. Don't stay stuck to an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. See very clearly the path to happiness, success, and vitality in your life is you finding your truth, owning your truth, and standing in your truth, making good, solid decisions in your life, the universe, to bring this current cycle to a close so you can open up into a new cycle. What's the new cycle? Again, learning how to manifest stronger like the layers of an onion, learning to follow your intuition stronger, the empress, learning to apply it stronger, the emperor, learning to create it in your life so you can have a harmonious relationship is that just it's just so freaking amazing to me anywho Taurus that is your reading for this full moon so what is this full moon all about for whoever this reading was for 
This full moon is about you coming to terms with that which you know to be true in your guts and that which you just really don't want to be the truth. What do you know to be true in your guts that there's bigger and better for you? What do you not want to be true? Will you wish that this situation that's coming back around to you could be the bigger and better for you? Okay? That's, that's your lesson here with this whole thing is to come to terms with what you think is the best for your life and what source thinks is the best for your life. Namaste.